Hello guys. I get a lot of que I've gotten a lot of questions over the years about getting files off of your iDevice. More specifically, getting the music off of your iDevice. One of the problems with iPhones, iPod touches, and iPads is that once you put the music on it, there's no real way to get it off. It's one of the most frustrating things about Apple products is that once I put my music there or any file pretty much I can't get it back. I've had situations where my hard drive just crashed on my laptop and there was no way to recover it so I, was, I had no way of getting my music back. It was just stuck on my iPod and if anything happened to that iPod there was no way I was getting my music back. So I, did, I went into a little research I found this program it's called iFunbox. I've been using this program for maybe three years now I believe and it, it is great it does it does everything you could ever want it's very simple and straightforward to use and you can get just about any file off of your iPod or iPad or iPhone I highly recommend that you have it I'm probably going to be using it in a lot of videos it's just that good especially if you have a jailbroken iPhone if you have a jailbroken iPhone, you can also put files onto your iPhone or iPod or iPad. So, let's get to it. The first thing you're, you're going to want to do is go to the iFunbox website. I'm going to put the link in the description. It's going to be down there. Just look. When you get there, you're going to find which device you're running or, or which platform you're on. Are you on Windows or Mac? I'm on Windows, so I'm going to go to Download for Windows. I, I like just to download the zip file. Once that's done downloading, I'll go to my download section, which is right there, and I will extract it. Once extracted, you're going to want to go to iPhone Box Classic and click on the .exe file. Once you get the program open, you'll notice that on the left-hand side of your screen, right here, you're going to see a bunch of different tabs. Each tab has a different function. This is just shows every single tab. Once you get into the user applications, these are all the apps you've downloaded from the App Store. You can back them up onto a new computer or anything. As you can see, there's pretty much everything. General storage is where, if you have a jailbroken iPhone, some of the, the apps you can get from Cydia will require apps from your computer or files from your computer and stuff. And you can just store them here. It's a very simple place. Here's my camera roll. All my pictures are there. You get down here, voice memos, things you downloaded from Safari. System applications is all the applications that are installed onto your device by default. So things like Safari, your photo app, your mail app, all that stuff, your camera. Here is where all the good stuff is. This is your raw file system. I highly recommend that you do not go through any of these other folders except the ones I tell you. One of the reasons is, is because if you accidentally delete a system file, you could break your iPhone and it just won't work. You could always go and restore it, but I'm sure most of you guys aren't going to want to have to go through that hassle in case it happens. So if you just follow my instructions and don't touch anything else, you will be fine. Basically what you're going to want to do is click on the user folder. Then you want to click on the media folder. And inside the media folder, you'll see iTunes control. iTunes control, you'll see the music folder. If you click on this folder, you're going to see a ton of different folders labeled from 0 all the way to 49. If you click on one of these folders, you're going to see all your music is there. There's different sets of songs in each one of these folders. Unfortunately, there's no pattern or anything like that. And I'm sure there's a specific algorithm or something that determines what is in what folder. But unfortunately, there's no way to tell. So you can't just say, oh, I want this specific song. As you can see, there's nothing there that you can see here, unfortunately. So what you're going to want to do is just go back to where you see this music folder. You want to right-click on it and do Copy to PC. Copy it somewhere where you'll understand and find it. Once you figure out where you want to do it, I'm going to save it onto my desktop. You just want to click Save. I already have the folder done. So as you can see there's a progress bar back here. I'm going to cancel it because I've already done it. 
I don't want you guys to go through the process. Depending on how many songs you have, it could take anywhere from 5 to 20 minutes. Anyways, let me get to my desktop and show you how it works. As you can see, I have a music folder here, and all the folders are there. What you want to do is click on it, and as you can see, once you get into the folders, all your song titles are there pretty much. All the artists, the album. One thing I will say is that there is a small chance that it might your songs might not have an ID tag. Last time I did this, I had 3,000 songs on my iPod, and when I was done, only about five didn't have the ID tag. So it's very few that won't have it, but pretty much all your songs will have all the ID tags, as you can see. Everything in here, they all have their tags. And as you can see, too, they're kind of random. I mean, there's Taylor Swift in here, Kanye West, Dalia. I mean, there's Homemade Kazoku, Too Short, Mario. I mean, all of it is completely different. So like I said, I can't really tell if there's a pattern or if there's anything like that. But pretty much that's all you want to do. Once you, you can copy all these songs into iTunes, click on a song, it'll play. It is a very simple process. Like I said, there's tons, there's tons of different possibilities with this app. iPhonebox lets you do so many different things, and I highly recommend that you download it. You can do everything. It's a great way to back up your music, or any, just any file for that matter. Especially if you get a new computer or something. And sometimes this is a little bit easier than actually transferring something from a hard drive to a portable hard drive and then transferring that those files onto your new hard drive. So I think this is a lot quicker. It's a lot easier. I said it, it'll get you all your music. You can get your movies, apps, anything. It's, it's just a great way. I'm going to do another video in a little while on how to put files onto your iPod, iPad, or iPhone if it's jailbroken. I'll put that up as soon as I can. I'm going to try getting this done soon. But anyways, I thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, just click the like button down there. Comment, subscribe, anything you guys want. Anyways, thanks.